Yeah, if you watch Rivals of M, and this is the Doncaster Rovers playthrough with Rise to Glory. So in this episode, we're going to be taking on Brighton. But before that, let's have a quick look and see how we've got on. Not really well, to be honest. This uh, Premier League malarkey is a little bit more difficult than Championship League 1. So we went to play Tottenham and we got absolutely spanked. Absolutely spanked. 5-0. I mean, I, I expect these games to be difficult, but I wasn't expecting 5-0 difficult. It's just It just seems we just can't defend in this league. The only thing I'm hoping for is that maybe it's to do... Oh, I could finish Deli Alley. The only thing I think is I can only hope that it's to do with like our team's chemistry. Because we have made a hell of a lot of new signings, haven't we, this year? So there's, there's obviously got a lot of way to sort of go to sort of gel. As you know, in the previous seasons, they, they were joining like green links or like amber links between each other. And I, I'm hoping that's what the problem is at the minute, because they've not been playing a lot together apart from the friendlies. But I don't think the, I don't think it improved so much in the friendlies, to be honest. So with the exception of that, then it looks like we're in for a long, long, hard, difficult season, to be honest. But look at that, shred us apart. That's movement, isn't it? Brilliant movement there. But Tottenham are a brilliant team, and playing away from home are always going to be difficult. Well, they went and played Nottingham Forest, and this were in the. Cup, so in this one, we, we sort of like rotated where we possibly could do as well as we gave like some of them were coming back from injury, like Fredericks, uh, trying to get him a, a bit of a run as well to try and get sort of, sort of fitness back up so they could be ready for first team. And we absolutely smashed it, didn't we? So it's not not the tactics, the tactics aren't failing. Iboko, he's doing well, so tactics aren't really failing. What I think the issue is, is just it's a step up, and teams need to really gel more than anything. So Boko, I think he got a trick in this game, if, I'm, if memory serves me correct. And he's definitely going to be into first team next. Yeah, there we go. He's the young lad from Inter Milan. I think he's 19 years old. I think he's Spanish. I'm not sure. But I think he definitely needs to be cracking on. We've had two injuries as well. Uh, Wilson's out. I think he's out for a, a few more days. And our defender, what's his name? Amero? Amero? That Nigerian, I think he is. He's out for two or two, three weeks. So two to three weeks, probably going to be about a month into it. Take account of, sort of like lack of match fitness. And then took on Wolves and Wolves. To be honest, we lost two one. It's away from home, but Wolves are actually doing well in the league. They play three games, won all three, so they're up there with rest. So they're fighting it out. And oh, we didn't do too badly, to be honest. Dude. I mean, their their goal came a lot later into the game, but we took the lead here. Good ball up the top by King. Marquis brings it down, slots it into corner. Great start, three minutes. I'm thinking, hang on, you know, maybe it's going to change our fortune a little bit. They've got Balotelli. <laughs> so, it's, that's your typical goal, isn't it? You get onto the wing, you cross it in. Now, 90 times, 90% of the time, so like, <laughs> 9 times out of 10, you, you find yourself in that sort of position with team against you. When they get onto the wing, you know they're going to score. I think I think there. I don't know why. It's just everyone's standing off there. So today we're taking on Brighton. Let's have a quick look at the table then. So we're nineteenth in the league. It's not very good, is it? So we're in relegation zone. So one draw, two two losses. And Brighton, where are they? I mean, they're, so they're tenth. They're one win, one draw, one loss. So I mean, we want to be beating these, don't we? If we want to be getting into this part, we need to get some results now. Look at that, Liverpool eighteenth, three games as well, and that's who we drew with. So that's not very good, is it? So the team we're going with today then, so we've got Gunn in there, so he maintains his position. Cargill steps in, well, do I go for Cargill or Pennington? Probably Pennington's probably the better option in it, to be honest. I think it probably is. The only thing is, it's not natural. I'm going to keep Pennington, because otherwise we're going to have like two stoppers. I want a natural in the role playing there. So Cargill and Barth in centre. Fredericks is out on right, Minks on left, Garcia's Roman playmaker. Thorne steps in, now he seems to have his match fitness back again. Got Morris at side of him, Marquis at front with uh, Abel Ruiz and Iboku. So let's crack on and let's see what we can get in this game today then. So it did say that Thorpe's a little bit injured there. Well, not injured, a little bit lacking match fitness. Well done, assistant. You didn't get anything out of them then. So let's progress. So they have the kickoff then, Brighton. So we're in our red and white hoops. We need a good result, don't we? Because we've been playing poorly up to this point. Look, they're Wolves fourth, as you can see. So, well, they've got a knock here. Cross comes in. Morris on the edge of box. Play it back up to wing, mate. Don't mess about here. Garcia crosses it in. Headed away. Thorne. Back to Bath. It's quite high up for, uh, for a centre-back here. Garcia to Thorne. But great ball through to Marquis. Side of strike and it's just wide. Wow. I mean, 
It's fairly good start to the game, isn't it? I mean, we've had one shot, and I'll tell you, they've had two, though, so that's a bit strange. And who's this guy that's injured? Looks half decent, doesn't he? Wow, yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to be struggling this year, aren't we? Without, without a, shred of, a shred of a doubt. I mean, look at this. They've had seven shots to our one. If anything, we should be getting hammered here at this start, stage. I'm going to demand more, because it's not very good. Hang on. I'm not going to demand more if we score. Maury! Oh! He's hit the post! Bit fortuitous there, wasn't it? Took a bit of a deflection. I mean, I went to look at the last year's league table and just think, it's like, oh, God, it's a penalty. Come on. When well, you're needing points, you're giving things away like that with penalties. Oh, great save gone. Oh, my word. Fantastic. Well, bloody hell, fantastic. <laughs> Jeez. No, I'm going to say... I was having a look at um, sort of like last year's league table. I think we need about between 35 37 points to sort of avoid relegation. You know, try and stoke the fire. Fredericks didn't like that though, did he? I might take him off, to be honest. He'll stay on for now. I'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't affect his morale too much. So I'm at a 6.8. It's looking very nervous. I think if I take him off, I think it'll just really affect his morale though, won't it? Morris is 6.5, Thorpe's is 6.8. It might have, all right, we'll make some substitutions here. We're going to take Thorpe off for uh, Bistro. Mm, yeah. Right, we'll, we'll have him there. He can be on. No, he needs to be on defend. We need that little bit defensive duty, don't we? We're going to put on. Well, since a little injured, so we're going to put him on. Mandeville's going to come on then. Yeah, we'll stick with that then. Let's not let's not jump into it too much. It's nil nil. We've definitely got some in us. Without a doubt, we know we can score goals. It's just not happening at the minute, is it? I mean, I have changed tactics a little bit in terms of. I've took passing out of space off. I'm going to put it back to mixed again. I want to see if we can get anything from this. Oh my, that's a bad ball, isn't it, Garcia? So let's hope that we get in on it here and regain possession. Yeah, I've done it here. Marquis tried to find Mando. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. That's a good save. Guns, Guns proper save us here right now, isn't it? Great one on one save, and he's had a penalty save as well. I bet his rate is about six point seven. Good, well, well out by Cargill there. He's chasing it as well. Look at him. Only one that switched on. Seventeen shots to our eight. It's not very good, is it? Mandeville, can we get something here? Cross. Is that a strike? And it's good save. I thought you could go for a cross. I think we need to attack, don't we, really? Maury's is not playing great. I'm going to put King on. King on for Maury. So let's see if we can push further here. So they've got the, the throw in here. Oh, it's a great interception there. Mandeville, where's he going to find here? It's a bad ball. Just giving it away cheaply. Look at him running to get back. Oh, no. Woo, it's just wide. Pew, just puts it wide there. So we had 10, 12 shots now, we're catching up a little bit. There's 10 minutes left to go, and not, nothing much is happening. The only thing we're doing is getting yellow cards. Four of them. I think if you get five, you get get some sort of um, fine, don't you think? Headed by Mings, straight to nobody. Bistrup gets it though. Place Mandeville, play it through, play, play it through. Marquis, great ball through. Yes, it's 1-0. 88 minute. We've left it late, but we've done it, haven't we, lads? We've done it. So move up to 13th, at least get us out of relegation now. As long as we don't throw it away, there's definitely a few minutes for us to throw this away, isn't there? This Marquis is clinical, isn't it, this guy? It's this by Mandeville, so maybe I need to start playing Mandeville as well. Maybe looking for like more all-round players, because the poachers tend to go with. They're sort of like really like focused, orientated on poaching, aren't they, for stats-wise. So they're happy with that one. I think I need to change the tactics just to see what, that, what we did, how we pushed on there. So let's have a quick look in the league then and see how we're getting on now then. So moved up into 13th place. Liverpool still down there. Oh, they're not played, that's why. Is anyone else that can jump above us? So West Ham can. So can Burnley. So effectively we can move down to like 15th, can't we? Maybe 16th if Liverpool win. So let's have a quick look then and see what we've got on schedule. Uh, we're not coming back for the Burnley game. Come back for Arsenal. Come back for Arsenal. We'll watch us get whooped about 5 0 again, eh? So where are Arsenal in the league then? So they're fifth. So they've won three, lost one. Apparently, Wenger's um, job's under scrutiny as well, so I don't know why. I don't think we're too bad, are they? So I'll leave it there for now, guys, and I'll be back in a minute. 
Right guys, so we're back and we've had two fixtures which have gone reasonably well. The better fixture actually came with uh, Burnley, which obviously that's the important one, isn't it? And as you can see, we're definitely not failing to score some goals now, are we? Six goals, I wasn't expecting this at all. Away from, from home, I thought, you know, after like the 5 0 drubbing of Tottenham, I thought we're going to absolutely struggle in here. I'm a bit surprised that we didn't score against Tottenham, to be honest, with how well we've been able to score throughout the leagues. But we got Wilson, Marquise, and Iboki, is that his name? Can't remember now. That youngster we bought from Inter Milan, they're playing up top here. And they seem to be playing alright. I'm still just waiting for sort of like to get the link up play going. They're a bit unfortunate there, wasn't it? Not a bad goal from him. Came in, beats our defender. I'd like to our defender to put a bit more effort in and it's just don't keep it with height at ball. But yeah, 6 1 against Burnley. I mean, these are definitely the teams we want to be beating. My idea in, in the first season is we just need to avoid relegation. We just need to establish ourselves in this league, don't we? I think if we do that, we can start attracting better players, and that's going to be the key to staying up sort of over a long period of time. But I wasn't necessarily particularly expecting us to sort of like beating you know, teams away from home very convinc convincingly like this. I definitely expect to be a lot more close, especially at the minute while we're still trying to get our familiarity up with, with the team players. To say that, the uh, on dynamics, when you look at sort of like uh, staff Sorry, you know, players gelling together. It's, it's quite good. It's the dressing room atmosphere that a little bit poor. I'm not really sure to why it's that poor, though, to be honest. Just quickly look at it. Well, it has picked up a lot, actually, in the last few games. So people must start to get a little bit more happy now. But, yeah, match cohesion. That's good. So we should be seeing something, some good aspects of play from that. But I'd have thought that that sort of, like, coincide with, you know, your links between your players, which, if you imagine, if any of you have... I've watched, watched FIFA, you understand sort of like how on Ultimate Team, how chemistry affects sort of your team's performance, be, you know, the ability to play together. And then this game, we played Brentford away from home in Cup. I, to be honest, when I watched that goal, I saw, wow, it's an absolute brilliant movement there. And I'm thinking to myself, players like Ruiz, should I be playing him in first team, you know? And that's, that's the thing for me, I'm not sure. I've, I'm kind of going for Boki and Wilson over Ruiz and Mandeville, because... Well, Mandeville doesn't edge it because he is not a natural poacher. And he doesn't have the pace, which I want in them sort of positions out wide. But Iboki sort of like takes the lead over Ruiz to me because Ruiz isn't our player. We're going to lose him at the end of the season, aren't we? So that's playing at the back of my mind. I think Ruiz, a nice little touch by Ruiz, a good finish here. I think Ruiz, I think he probably is a better player than Iboki at the minute. It might not necessarily mean it's going to be in the future. But I think his stats are a little bit more better well-rounded than what ours are on Iboki so that's my way of thinking here I just think it's probably best because we might not be able to get Ruiz next year and the thing is now is if we're like loaning players I don't like to loan someone and then I have to buy him for a big bulk of money the next following year and use most of our transfer budget because that's probably what's going to happen isn't it, if we want to buy him he ain't going to be cheap I think his valuation is more like 1 million but you know Barcelona would be asking for a lot more than that for him because I think his, his contract runs out in like 3 years that unfortunate goal there that was the one that got us back to 4-4 four, four. Should quick look at penalties then. I think it should fly through this fairly quickly, shouldn't it? So they had the first two, did they? Then we got Mandeville had a nice finish there. Oh no, it's showing your highlights, isn't it? It's showing them twice over. Keisha. <laughs> I can't be asked to set the highlights off. It'll just get through it fairly quickly. To be honest with this one, I was expecting a lot better performance. I mean, we're still scoring goals, don't get me wrong, but I expected not to be conceding four goals. Brentford are in championship. We had a better performance against them last year, didn't we? Which leads me back to thinking it's got to be to do with the sort of link between the players on familiarity. That's the only thing I can put it down to, to be honest. And once that improves, I think we should be a lot better in Premier League. So they're the two games we've gone through then. So at the minute we're sitting in ninth and we're playing Arsenal today. So let's have a quick look at how the table's shaping up. So Wolves keeping their impressive form. Like Crystal Palace, wow. Who have they signed in this January transfer window here? Well, they've signed quite a few players. £43 million, so they've had a bit of money, haven't they? They've got rid of 13. I'm just sort of having a look at some of these players. Yeah, I'll probably look at this sort of later down the line. But it was sort of like the big marquee signing. Oh, this guy's good. I've seen him before. He's quite a good defensive like midfielder. But apart from that, I don't think any of them look particularly more brilliant than our players. I had my eye on this guy once. They could have put in a good performance against us in one game they played. I don't know. I'm sure I've definitely seen that name somewhere though. Maybe it's not him then. 
So, we're playing Arsenal then. Let's have a look where Arsenal are in the league. So, Arsenal are... Where are we? Sixth. So, not doing too badly. Three wins, one draw, one loss. So, we're two wins, one draw, one loss. But we've won our last two games and Arsenal have won one of their last three. So, hopefully we're turning a corner here and just going to get a bit, bit of, sort of like, you know, consistent performances out of our team. So, the team that we're going with today then, we've got a gun in net, a mayor who's at the back with Bath. We've got Fredericks, who's going to change to wing back or playing... That Loney there instead last time, that's why I changed to full back. But Fredericks is wing back, Mings is uh, the left back, Garcia, Thorne, and Maury is the usual three in the centre. We've got Wilson, Marquis, and Iboko up top. Iboko, that's it. So let's see what we can get today then. Hopefully, it's a fairly decent result. I often expect to get absolutely tanked by these because these are head and shoulders above us, aren't they? After what happened with Tottenham, I'm, I'm not I'm not too convinced we can get anything out of this. So Manchester United just dropped from first place then, but that's purely down to the fact that they're not playing right now. They've won all five games. I think they made some good signings as well when you look at them, but obviously we're never going to be able to compete with their financial muscle, are we? Man City as well. The Wilson. Marquise is through there. Oh, it's a great finish. It's 1-0. And Marquise is off the mark in this game against Arsenal. 16 minutes in then, we're 1-0 up, so it's a good start to it. Don't forget, we conceded 5 against Tottenham though, so we definitely can concede at any moment in the game. And they're going to have the talent to be able to go goals against us as well, aren't they? But hopefully our players are just sort of starting to gel a little bit better together now. So we both have 4, sh four shots with 2 on target, both of us 50% possession, so it's a fairly even game here. Let's look at another chance here. Amaru, there we go, it's 2-0 now. Now, the thing is to notice this year, which is different to the previous years, our corners seem to be a little bit better. I don't know if it's because Garcia's taken them, but we seem, we seem to be a little bit more deadly with corners. I suppose we've got, like, a target man in Bath as well. Uh, when I say target man, like a, a focal point for putting the crosses towards. Marquise, what's he going to do here? He's tackled, it's a good tackle. Oh, oh no, now they're on the, the attack. Oh, no, good tackle from us. Oh, God, man, that's a terrible first touch. Nearly well, well brought back and covered there, though. Oh, you don't want to be scoring there. Jesus. You don't want to keep getting beat from up near post from that sort of distance. I said a bit away, guys. Just over. They're starting to put us back under Kosh a little bit, aren't they? We've got Strootman. Wow. Pavon. Never heard of him. Not a bad player, is he? Look at them physical. He'd be great on wing, won't he? Cross and dribbling. Off the ball. Be a fantastic player. Oh, come on. What are they doing? Uh, it's a great tackle. Oh, I'd say it's a great tackle. She's played him straight through. Good time to concentrate. It seems like they're just losing focus a little bit here, doesn't it? So half time then. So I can't really complain at that. I'm saying that they have been a bit more impressive than, than we have, haven't they? When you sort of look at stats, oh, she six shots. Shoot shots. <laughs> six shots to their ten. We need to hold it out. I mean, even if we were to concede two and go 2-2, two, two, it won't be a terrible result, would it? But if we concede this early in the first half, it, it's probably going to point to the fact that we're going to concede a lot. Come on, get on to it, lads. I've just praised him, and that's how you go out in the second half. It's ter terrible, isn't it? Absolutely terrible. See, that's the danger. Now, if we don't score one now, I think we're going to lose 3 or 4-2. I'm going to call this it's right now. We need to be picking points up at home. Like it, like our um, sort of motto for championship, innit? We need to be taking advantage of our home games. <laughs> Get in, in Boko. It's 3-1. Luckily, we got the next goal. That's that's really shifted momentum. It's took it off Arsenal a little bit, hasn't it now? So we need to capitalise a bit better on this, don't we? It's a completely different game to the Tottenham one, isn't it? So hopefully our team is gelling together and that's going to sort the issues out now. I still don't think we're going to drift too far up, up the table. I think we're definitely going to be bottom half without a doubt. I mean, the other thing is we've got to avoid injuries. Avoid any sort of big injuries. Like we had Nikisha last year with a big injury, wasn't it? And our team, sort of, our form sort of dropped after that, didn't it, a little bit? Mandeville got an injury as well, didn't he? I need to watch fitness, I think. Oh, God, it's just over. Possibly make some changes, possibly. Let's have to see what we can do. I'm not going to change on the highlight, though. Let's have a quick look. Especially when we're on ball. We're playing it about nicely here, aren't we? Just don't give it away. 
<laughs> Look at it, they're just making them run. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, come on, Gun, you ruined that, mate. You just ruined it, you just gifted it to him. There are plenty of options there, you just threw that away. Hold up, man out of left, it's going to get straight to him. No one to cover. Well put away there, Amaru. Amaru? Amaru? Close him down, close him down, get to him. Block that cross, it's 3 2. We need to make some changes, don't we? So he's not playing well. Wilson's not playing well. I think we'll take him off for Ruiz because he, he will play a decent one here. Maury will take him off for Jeff Kim. Uh, George can put this. Mm, yeah. We'll do that. And he can be down as a central midfielder on defend. We'll try something a little bit different. We've got to be a bit more careful now, haven't we? 20 minutes left to go, and the one goal behind us. I don't I have to go with 3 1 up. It's going to be terrible not to win this, isn't it? Hopefully, Ruiz can do something for us. So we've got the ball now, then. It's a long shot that, but he's found Ruiz. It's a great ball through. It's a great save. Pia check. Vavra. I've never heard of him. Garcia. Okay, whipping a good ball here into the box. Not bad. Out to get edge of box. He's going to strike it. That side was uh, past that. Oh, it's just been hacked at. How is that not a foul? He's just hacked him down. Oh, I don't. Not like that. Come on. Great ball through. Come on. Play him through. Iboku, what's he going to do with you? Bistro. Garcia. King. Is that a shot? <laughs> You're off a corner. I think he'd have been better off going for full back there, though, wouldn't he? And just trying to get a cross in. It'd have been a lot more deadly if we did. 3 2 then. So we've got like seven minutes left to go. 10 shots to their 16. Possession wise, it's fairly even. Shots on targets are 7 to 6, though. What's helped to see is they've not been very clinical. So Ruiz finds King in centre. Marquis, he's got a Boku, we can find him. He has him, but this guy's here there. What's he doing? Why has he done that? Iboku. Oh! My god, why would he do that? No! It was clean through, 1 and 1. Bah. Oh, it's ball of a tie. Iboku, he can beat him with pace. He can't because Chet gets there before him. Straight back. Come on, don't mess. What? What is that? What the hell was that? Oh, God, no. Come on. That's just ridiculous. That's that bloody bug again, isn't it? That absolutely annoying bug where you put a tackle in and it plays him straight through. This bug's starting to piss me off big time. Look at that. It's a good tackle. Why is Keeper not coming to it first? No. Just no. Go and attack him. I want a goal. Let's get it out wide. There you go, Mings. Look at it up top. What the? F just play off of ground. Bister up. Can he find him? Ruiz. He can be the defender here. Get your back post. Iboki. Oh my god, he's put it right at check. How did you manage to do that? that that's got to be harder to miss than score. Oh, God, I see his pick to Panak. Fredericks, come on, get a good ball in. Straight out. Now they're attacking against us. That's it. 3-3, three, three, I mean, it's not the worst, but considering we were 3-1 up, that's pretty terrible. I can't be too uh, too bad at them. I mean, I, I don't think we're expected to win well. We would definitely want one at favourites. Five to eight days, it's not the worst. Not the worst, really, is it? We don't really have many so much backup for him, though. That's going to be the problem, isn't it? There's no roaming playmaker to sort of take, it, take his place. So there, we're sitting in 10th then after six games. Two wins, two draws, two losses. It's not too bad, really, is it? we win one in three. I think if we win one in three, we'll definitely stay up. I think, I think you're going to win one in four at least, aren't you? There or thereabouts. So Man City are at top there. Man U still got to play. So look at their forms. Tottenham, Man City, Man United. They're going to the teams you don't want to play. So Arsenal. It's a bit disappointing, that, isn't it? We knew they lost. They lost to Man City. They drew with us and Liverpool. I mean, that's not too bad when you look at where they dropped points. They only lost drop points to Liverpool, us and Man City. So it's not all that bad. So I think it's I think it's fairly respectable. So I think what we're going to do, let's have a quick look. So we're going to come back to them in the next game. We'll get a few games through. We may come back for... Come back for Man United. That should be a big game. No, 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 no. Yeah. We come back from Man United, so we'll get through a few little games, get through three games there. Good game, not concentrating, as you know. So, right, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button, show us some support. If you've got any questions, comments, drop it in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.